Welcome to World of Monsters. Today, tonight, ladies and gentlemen, the moment we've all been waiting for. Yes, you monsterites have been waiting too, and you didn't even know it. Well, it's time to unbox Village Attacks, a uh, board game that I funded on Kickstarter well over a year ago, I believe. And it has now come to our address, and I'm ready to open this box as soon as possible because I've been waiting way too long. And let me just say that this game, this board game, is so fitting for the channel because in this board game, Village Attacks, you play as the monsters fighting peasants and heroes. They are the bad guys. Well, they're the opposing guys. You're the protagonist as the monster. Without further ado, let's get this party started. Take a look at this. Isn't this beautiful? And what comes in this lovely box? One village attacks despair and abhorrence. <laughs> One rage and avarice. One wrath and ruin. One Kickstarter dice. One 3D traps. One Kickstarter exclusives. One the troll. <sighs> You know how I feel about trolls. And one core game in English. Let's get this party started. Alrighty, here we go. And here's my trusty knife. Trust, trust, tr Let's give it a double lock, because this might just get a bit wild. Ooh, nice smooth cut there. Second side, did you ever imagine it'd be so exciting just cutting through a box? A completely empty box. No, no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. All right. So long, I've been waiting for this. <sighs> Traps. <laughs> oh goodness, oh goodness, oh my gosh, what are we starting with? <gasps> Looks like the exclusive Kickstarter dice. Take a look at that. Kickstarter exclusive dice. Dice. Mm -mm -mm. Aren't they lovely? Mm, smells so nice. Okay, you're not going anywhere. The traps. Okay, let's put that over here. Next we have the troll. Now if you look at the Kickstarter levels, the pledge levels, if you know how Kickstarter works, the more you pledge, the more they unlock things and the better deal you get with the Kickstarter when you buy it. We didn't even hit this pledge, and I'll be showing you the little Kickstarter uh, strip, the pledge strip, what it looks like. And this one, we didn't even hit, but they added it in just because they rock. So. The troll. Ooh. They didn't even have the official miniature picture. Actually, a lot of these miniatures, they didn't even have the pictures of the miniatures yet, just the concepts art. So this is the first time I get to witness the actual miniatures of the monsters. Then we have Wrath and Ruin. Oh boy, Wrath and Ruin right here. Ooh, Kickstarter exclusive content right there. I don't even know how to organize this. Rage and Avarice. Put it back there. Despair and Aberrance right there. And, ah oh yes, the main box right there. Village attacks. Let's get a nice shot of that. That's what we've been waiting for. And ex ex exclusive dice. Let's see if there's anything else in the box. I don't think I really prepared for quite what we're going to be receiving here. I mean, it is 2 a.m. in the morning here, and look at us here. We should start with the core box. Alrighty, everybody, take a deep breath. Village attacks. Okay, we're gonna try to get through this as fast as possible and wait until the end of the video to see how this is really relevant to the channel and what you guys want to see. We are in, we have our rule book here. It's not huge. Oh, that new book smell. Oh, smells so delicious. And the first thing to greet us right after that, the miniatures. Nicely packaged, easy to take around. And what I love about this is that the way they're packaged makes it easy for you to transport even after you've painted them. So you can paint these up, put a nice protective coating on them, and they will do just fine. Let's take a look at some minis here. Mm. The miniatures have nicely been created as one with their bases, so there's no need to attach additional bases here. Alright, and there's our first one. Not sure who exactly this is. I will put the reference next to the video. This may just be the Banshee, so this is going to be one of us. This one's pretty cool, look at that. Alright, and these are going to be all painted up beautifully. 
just love the concept of us having to fight against the actual heroes and they are equipped these are like bosses right here for us so you've got the peasants and then you've got these guys that really pack a punch there's a lovely peasant for you. Isn't that great for a change? I'm so excited to see how this is going to pan out. Pretty awesome little characters here. Very nice. As DM Scotty would say, if you know D&D, then you know DM Scotty. So cool. So cool. Closer look at the dice. Ooh, I like this guy. Take a look at that. How about that for an assassin? Yeah, and there's quite a few of them too no shortage of these guys there's like let's see six of these ones six of these i'm just trying to show you guys the variety here oh he's got a gun he's got a pistol now we've got a challenge oh i love this guy look at that grave digger okay here we have dolahan one of our monsters right here Here's a pretty serious looking guy. What do you think of that? Do let me know which miniature you find to be the coolest. But just wait, just wait. Or go ahead and comment. And then you can edit your comment. No, just add to it. That's even funner. Let me know which miniature or monster looks the best to you so far. And see how the this is a little bit skewed, the plastic? You can easily fix that with hot water. So that is the Lich. Another one of us. Ooh, next is the Vampire. Are you ready for this? And there you have it, folks the vampire in all of his glory that is so lovely these are very nice i love the detail i love the not the detail but the actual well i do love the detail but i appreciate the actual sculpts the concepting that went into them they're not just simple characters look at the succubus look at that look at that leg positioning that is simply awesome very nice very multi-dimensional all right, and here we come to the other contents of, where are you? The box. Lovely little pouch. I really enjoy little pouches like this. I tend to collect them. Game board pieces, modular pieces, meaning they can be connected in a variety of different ways. Here we go. We have the different rooms. Check out the painting style, and they're double-sided. This little area here, or this graveyard area on the other side clip on these are colored clip on bases so you will add these to the bases of the miniatures let's see game overview tile that is cool that's actually made from metal look at that isn't that cool very nice awesome so many products out there in this world are losing quality but just great to see that board games are keeping their nice quality and yeah it's not just about quantity as you can see these boxes are nicely designed everything is laid out beautifully a couple different dice here too can't wait to jump into this character cards we got the banshee here we've got the succubus here the lich here oh it's gotta be powerful it's gotta be powerful adding a lich come on now all these guys are powerful. Look at that vampire. And then we've got the castle heart and village morale. Village event. Okay. Oh, another monster. We got our Dolhan mythic. So it's our other monster. And look, we got one of these chain swords here. Reminds me of that video that Skelligrim made about chain swords one time. If you're aware of who Skelligrim is over on YouTube. More tiles still in their positions here nicely here we have one of the hero cards you see on the top here there we go and then we have these look at the quality of this art i love it i love how to blend it in and the texture i don't know if you can really see the tech yeah you can a little bit in the light but the texture this cardboard is awesome here's the grave digger so there's scald grave digger right there and some other stuff we'll figure all that out later some more rooms Tiles. That's double sided. We have our alchemist, bounty hunter, executioner here. Look at that. Look at those colors. Mm -mm. The camera is not lying to you guys. The camera is not lying. Oh boy. And I have a monster cast to do. A few hours here. Oh, bat form. 
bat form. Do you know what that means? It's one of the things I miss about vampires is their bat form transformation. Love it. We have our human cards, so our villagers. Pretty nice stack here. Exploring all that as we go. I don't want to make this video to spoil everything. I want first impressions here and the unboxing because we're going to be going deeper with this game. Some more dice, six more dice here. And we got more cards here. We have the spike pit. So we have our trap cards here. Looking good. So cool. And finally these. Now that was wonderful, but we got four, five, six more boxes to open here. Let's go ahead and take a look at these traps. Look at the box design again. See that quality? Everything is done with that nice kind of quality that you see on the actual tiles and everything. Spiky, spiky bits. Go right there. Oh, you guys are gonna love this one. Take a look at that. Ooh, it's a mimic. You can use that as a mimic for D&D as well. Look at that, that's beautiful. Treasure, chest, trap, monster. We got our slicers going back and forth. We've got this tile here. What does it lead to? We've got our treasure pile. You got your gold. Do you look at that? Look at that. Just look and think. Don't say anything. Just look and think. What are you looking at? Ooh, then we got this big ball. Looks like it's a just a ball smashing down on everything. There you go. That's pretty wild. It's cute. So it looks like it just smashed down to the ground. Clear bases here. Some stands for all these uh, different pieces. Don't you feel excited? Aren't you looking forward to seeing what this is going to look like painted up, guys? Right there. Look at that. Sweet. So that was our box of traps. Whew. Next, we'll be taking a look at this pair. Apparents. Creators of this game are Grimlord Games. Grimlord Games, so shout out to them for creating an awesome product. Despair and Aberrants, we got these extra characters here with their cards and game pieces. Take a look at that. He's gonna be fun to kill. And we got somebody walking through the door, uh, walking through the wall. Pull out these cards to know what we're looking at exactly. So that was the portal mage, and we got the fisherman, and then two more cards. See how big these things are? And they're thick too. Come on, this isn't a cheaply created game. Look at that. Nice and thick, two sided, beautiful print, beautiful colors. So next we got Varianoi. I think that's uh, off of Polish actually. And Baba Yaga, which is, uh, is actually off of Polish. Now that's fun. I love creatures like this. Look at those guys. It's just its own entity. I love these kind of fat, kind of simplistic, but not really monsters, because you can really have fun when painting them. And then we have right here the Baba Yaga, which is the, the ultimate witch. Remember guys, keep an eye out for awesome Kickstarters out there. Wake up and start messing with all this. Wrath and Ruin. So these are basically additions, additional characters. So we got the pieces for the uh, bases, the Jailer. Let's pull him out. They really wanted to follow the concept art. They didn't just put out this cool concept art to get people to fund and then throw out these crappy miniatures. They really pushed it. Okay, here we have the Pathfinder. This is a really cool looking character, actually. Look at those horns. Oh, goodness. Me just love a horny miniature like that. Glastig. Cursed. Wow, that is so cool. These miniatures are astonishing. Look at that. That is beautiful. Look at the details on the cape. I want to go through each individual miniature and actually talk about it. Here's the leshy. Love the fungus they added on to the legs. Look at that. The, the, the mushroom additions and everything, and such a versatile little miniature. Oh, these are 
Spectacular, guys. These are spectacular. I love me some tree monsters. Big fan of tree monsters. You guys always ask, most amazed to Arthur, what's your favorite monster? Well, there's just too many because I love them all. But among the ones that just speak to me first, dryads, tree folk. Awesome. Love them. Trolls. I always mention that one. We got a huge troll coming up here. Crazy stuff. And here we have Rage and Avarice. Beautiful. Oh no, this one has it. I'll leave it for last here. So we got the Spirit Tracker, and that's already hinting at what's in this one. A lot of fans out there. We got the Spirit Tracker, awesome Native American characters. I so love that they added the Native American theme, taking advantage of the feather ornamentation. And again, the positioning, the action within the miniatures. And here we're starting to get these wild Native American monsters. And I've got a lot of fans of Native American monsters. Got a great guy on our Discord. A lot of knowledge on it. The Baycock. Demon. And it's so big too. I mean, it's not big. It's, it's lengthy. It's tall. Look at that. And of course, what you've been waiting for. Should I even say the name? Ladies and gentlemen, we've got a win to go, and you don't know how. I can't wait to put this miniature in my hand because this miniature has a double meaning on the channel. A double video that's going to be around this miniature. Immediately comment down if you've ever seen a cooler Wendigo miniature. And I'm being serious about that, actually. I'm not just trying to push this. I'm actually asking because we're in search of one here. But that is awesome. Look at that. Three arms. Three arms? Nope. He's got another arm behind him. Look at that. Muscular butt. I love the concept art here. It's a great reference if you want to paint it. I like how they redden the hands. See, again, I can talk about it. Pay attention to those little side notes that I'm showing of the different unlocks that we hit by our funding. So it just makes more sense, especially if you're new to Kickstarter, to understand how this stuff actually works. So, two more boxes to go, and we're finished. By the way, let's take a look at this rule book real quick. There we go. Showing all the pieces included in the box. Colorful. And the smell. Seriously, people always talk about the smell. Our technology is not good enough yet to be able to share that with you guys. But who cares about ASMR? Smell is the next thing. Village Attacks Kickstarter exclusive content. What does this include? One more set of two characters. We have our human, which has the small card. I love that because you're so used to heroes and humans having the big cards to display their info. But here we have these little, still lovely, heavy duty cards, but they're dinky compared to the other ones. So you got the Grimlord. Kind of, yeah, he's got the staff. So he is kind of like a cleric, very armored up. Because that's not a bird, it's, it is a bird. Uh, statue upon a staff here again bigger in size i love that the revenant you can see in the concept art it's a very lionish undead powerful character i love it it's not these little wimpy skinny undead things I just start calling those wimpy undead things creepy crawlies just to get some serious undead created out there all right, final and last. Do you hear me? This one, we shouldn't even be getting this one because we didn't quite hit that level of funding. But Grimlord Games honored us with this giant troll. Let's take a look at this. I am so excited. <sighs> How big is this thing? I'm trying not to lose my human form here while doing this unboxing. I don't know how. The troll. And I'm not talking to some keyboard warriors out there. I'm talking the real freaking deal, and that's all we need in the box. Look at that. He just stands like, nope. Oh. Okay, let me read this real quick. A troll has appeared in the castle. Owing its allegiance to neither man nor monster, the troll wanders the castle attacking anything foolish enough to find itself in its path and adds an exciting new game mechanic to village attacks. He's got no friends. He's not on your side. He's not on the other side. He doesn't choose a side. He's beyond side and size. <laughs> He's just beyond it all. He reminds me of the butcher of the first Diablo game, but bigger. It's going to be awesome paint. Again, like I said, large miniatures and simplified miniatures like this, not miniatures, but monsters are just fun to paint because you can really explore with the paint and color scheme. Kind of Goku looking legs right there. Boots. Love the horns around. 
probably play this off as an ogre too and of course a giant and that answers the question why this also doesn't come with a card so i'm glad i read that because he has his full own game mechanic completely different kind of addition to the game all right yes sweet sweet monster rights i hope you have enjoyed that little journey my first impressions of the game the whole point of this board game and getting that this and sharing this with the channel not only because it's monster related Ugh, get off of me but because you guys actually voted for video game plays and board game plays i'm working on the first video game play episode so i'm editing that down for you guys 14 hours of the witcher 3 gameplay but also here i want to do board game plays also and i want to do it in a kind of cinematic candlelit way really cool ambience just get everybody in on the journey i just want to say that i've waited for this one for over a year now and then over another week with the box sitting here for the right moment retains my human form otherwise so i want to thank you guys for watching stay tuned because actually a game that i funded before this one a board game so here we have the fantasy monster type game and then the other one's kind of sci-fi in space futuristic really twisted even more cthulian actually this one's not that cthulhu based but the other one is more lovecraftian not cthulian lovecraftian in nature and so i'm gonna be doing that unboxing too and that has way even more miniatures again i really love the idea behind this one playing as the monster the other one you're going to play as humans so that one's going to arrive too and i want to hear from you guys which you would like to see first you already voted that you do want to see board game plays on this channel so now you get the choice of which one that one's going to be called should i tell you yeah i'll tell you deep madness and that's my uh appreciation for you watching this video until then let me know which one you're kind of more interested in do check that out when it arrives and that's about it it's time to get this show on the road and i I mean paint these things read the rules play with myself and well gotta start by blowing out these lovely candles that have been here to honor you my faithful monster rights the one and only just don't really want a fire in the cave if you know what i mean the smoke gets condensed in here and then weird things come out of that smoke have you ever seen the mist well imagine creatures coming out of a thick smoke a fog of smoke i don't know what i'm talking about until next time thanks for watching me monster rights it's been a pleasure well not necessarily waiting to do this but it's been worth it and it is a total pleasure filming this unboxing to share it with you guys out there because there's more of us out there than we usually think so until next time stay monstrous my friends rest be monster rights rest because tomorrow's another day tomorrow's another <sighs> and you need your energy <sighs> because we have evil to slay and darkness to protect.